Hello. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, whatever. My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. I am the emperor of the universe. My universe. Yeah. So if you don't like that, well, you know I, you know how that goes, right? Kick rocks. Psych a cock. What you got to do, right? But I love you, and thank you for being here. Today's episode is going to be about magic. <clears throat> like I said, there is no Hogwarts, but I have learned a few things. And I will teach what I know. Hopefully it will make sense to you in your reality or not. Magic exists. Some people have more power than others. Okay. Manifestation. Let's talk about manifestation. Manifestation is using your mind to get things, using your intentions, using your words to speak what you want in this world. Think, using your power, your, your energy, your magic to bring things into creation. Positively, I would add. You have to understand magic has a dark and a light. When you're manifesting properly, like I am doing, you basically, it's over time, you, it's, it's kind of like a job. You, you build bricks to build a building, and slowly as you build that building, and you bask in it, and, you, and the construction is everything you thought it would be, and it's, you know, proper, and, you know, specs are up to, you know, par and stuff like that, and you have a solid building that you can go in during the storms, and you can relax and enjoy, and you can say, you can be proud of, because this was your building, you earned it. That's what manifestation can be. Then there's the dark side. There's black magic. Black magic is false manifestation. That's basically what black magic is. It's not earning the manifestation. Manifestation comes from energy. Energy to manifest is earned. If it's not earned, it's black magic. It's, it's basically using spell work to get ahead of instead of actually doing the work, doing the meditation, taking the time out to focus on yourself and to, to charge your power, to get you to, you know, to protect your energy. You focus on other things, other people, what you want. You want to get ahead of the line. So to get ahead of the line, you, you cut some corners. That's usually dark magic. A lot of times dark magic can also come from lust, wanting somebody that you can't have, so use love spells or vengeance, anger, hate. Those are all things that are used with dark energy, dark spells. So like I said, it's your manifestation, your intentions. If you see me and you go, wow, that guy seems to have a, you know, be very blessed for having nothing, you know, I manifest this. I've worked very hard to, to be in my vibration, to be in my place where the universe is just like blessing me. And I'm grateful for everything. I get every little thing I get. I go, wow, this is a blessing. And I say it out loud. I speak those blessings to the world. That is using your magic properly. That is showing gratitude for the magic. That is showing gratitude for your for manifestations that you create. Like I said, that you've earned. Black magic is not earned manifestation. It's stealing, which is why it usually ends up coming back to you. It's kind of like... The best way to describe black magic is those check cashing places. <clears throat> As anybody knows, you go to a check cashing place, you, you, it's 50 bucks off the top. And, it, and, and Lord have mercy if you don't pay them back and see how that grows. It's a, just a terrible idea to start with. Those, those places are bent for poor people. And it, it's just, it hurts my heart seeing those places because I, I just know you have to get car loans and shit like just that. You know what I mean? So watch what you do. It's it's not the easy way. It's it's a, it try. It's a, like a quick fix, and it's just it's not worth it. It's just it's just common sense, you know, ethically. So black magic is no no bad no bueno. So if you wonder why my manifestations seem to be as as smooth as they are, or whatever you you know whatever your perception is. It's because I'm manifesting properly. I'm doing the work. I've, I've went within. I've done the work. I went through the dark night. I'm, I'm looking and trying to heal all my personal issues and growing as a person, loving myself. That creates positive energy, positive power. That's credit for my, you know, 
if I had a, if, if it was a wand, for example, like, you know, I'm, I'm making these wands. This one's, oh, that's not a good one. I got some really sick wands here. This is not really the best one, but it's a great example. If this was the wand that I'm manifesting, right, and I'm putting all my energy into this wand, which, by the way, I am doing that with these wands, so they're going to be powerful when I'm done. The wand maker. Cool, right? I love Harry Potter stuff. So anyway, if I'm manifesting all my energy into this wand, I want it to be positive. I don't want to be charged negatively. So those are important things you got to remember in, the, in this world, in your life. You want to look at things from a positive point of view. You want to focus on positive things. If you're manifesting negatively right now out of hate, anger, or lust, you're getting, that shit's going to come back and juju you hard. Hard, baby. So don't do it. Whatever you're doing, stop. Rethink, your, reevaluate what you're doing because it's just going to end up blowing up in your face. It's just, a, it's just a bad experiment. And like I said, you want to manifest properly. You have to do the work. You have to pay the cost to be the boss. And you are the boss, but you have to, you want to be, you want to be the pro boss properly. You don't want to get to the top of the chain by whacking everybody. You know what I mean? This isn't a mafia family. You want to get to the top of the chain by being respected, by being loved by your, not only your, yourself, but God in the universe going, this is the one we want in charge. This is what we want to shine light on so others to see and grow and do their thing. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the lesson for today. Manifesting. Manifesting pop properly, manifesting positivity, and staying away from the dark magic. Remember, you have to earn the right to have things. You don't just get things because you're a spoiled little brat and your daddy's name is Biden. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Where is Hunter? Love and light. I want you to have a wonderful day and use your, use your manifestations properly. Focus on positive. Focus on love. Focus on yourself. Nobody else. And you'll win. You'll be a great manifestor. You'll, be, you'll have a wonderful life and positive things will come. God and the universe will shower you with praise and joy and blessings. <sighs> okay. That being said, have a wonderful day. I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. So, rock it. Rock it and have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.